Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Wednesday, April 20th, 2016, around 7.32 in the morning in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's going to be a sunny day out, close to 60 and the sun's shining out and tomorrow and Friday going to be warm in the 70s but back to reality this weekend and maybe next week could be in a cold spell with dampness and coolness in the 40s and 50s. Some news to report the Tampa Bay Rays beat the Boston Red Sox by a score 3-0 in 10 innings. The Atlanta Hawks crushed the Boston Celtics by the score of 89-72 last night. The Hawks up 2-0. The series moves back to Boston for games 3 and 4. Celtics only scored 7 points in the first quarter. This is going to be very tough for the Celtics to come back because Avery Bradley's out for the remainder of the series. San Antonio Spurs crushed the Memphis Grizzlies last night, so that series is going back to Memphis, and probably um, the Spurs are going to sweep the Grizzlies out of the playoffs. And in the Stanley Cup playoffs last night, the Lightning and Blues are up 3-1 in their series, while the Ducks come um, cut their series deficit to 2-1 to one over the Predators, and the Penguins are up 2-1 for the Rangers. And 140 years ago today, Fenway Park had its first game, so happy 104th birthday to Fenway Park. And that's about it on the news. My first video blog subject of the day is continuation of the top 70 players of all time in the NBA. Today's from number 60 through 51, and here they are. Number 60 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Dan Issel. Dan played for many years in the, for the Denver Nuggets, made a few all-star teams. He retired in 1985, eventually became coach of the Nuggets. He's in the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame. Number 59 on this list of the greatest NBA, NBA players of all time, Alex English. Alex played most of his career with the Denver Nuggets, a very good scorer, made a lot of all-star teams. He finished his career with the Dallas Mavericks, and he was voted into the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame in 1997. And number two is hanging from the rafters at the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado. Number 58 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Calvin Murphy. Calvin was just five foot nine, plus, but he played the majority of his career with the Houston Rockets. He was a very accurate three-point, sh- I mean, three-foot throw shooter. Ninety-five percent of his three throws went into the basket, and just a dynamic player. Only made one All-Star team, but he's a pro basketball Hall of Famer. Number fifty-seven on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Dave Bain. Dave played his most of his career with the Detroit Pistons, a very exciting player, finished his career with the Celtics, made the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame after he retired. Um, Dave got involved in politics in Detroit. He saved um, Detroit from eliminating the entire sp- um, sports for sports kids in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Then he became mayor of Detroit. That's amazing. Number 56 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Walt the Clyde Frazier. Walt played his entire career with the New York Knicks, was one of the Knicks star players in the 60s and 70s, won a couple of NBA championships, perennial all-star. Number 10 to retired by the team. He's still with the Knicks organization calling color for games on the MSG network. And he's in many commercials with um, Keith Hernandez about like sh- um, shaving cream 
men like dying here. <laughs> Number 55 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo's played for the Nuggets and the Knicks. He's a dynamic scorer, perennial all-star, but he has not made the NBA Finals, and he might not especially with the next roster, but he's a probable Hall of Famer. Number 54 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne has played the entire career with the, with the Miami Heat, a very great player, but he's on his downside of his career. He's won three NBA championships, and he's probably a first ballot Hall of Famer when he retires. And that class of 2003 draft with the NBA with LeBron James, Kamala Anthony, and Dwayne Wade, one of the best ever. Number 53 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Chris Mullen. Chris played most of his career with the Golden State Warriors, and he ended up with the Indiana Pacers. Very, very good player on the Dream Team. 1992, he got inducted into the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame a few years ago, and he's now coach of St. John's, his alma mater. Number 52 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, Bill Walton. Bill Walton was a dominated big man for the Portland Trail Blazers and L.A. Clippers and Boston Celtics. His career was really cut short because of um, foot injuries, but if he was injury-free, he probably would rank up there with one of the best centers of of the NBA of all time, like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Shaquille O'Neal, and others, and Will Chamberlain, and Bill Wessel. And number 51 on this list of the greatest NBA players of all time, to end it right here, is Dave Cowens. Dave played most of his career with the Boston Celtics, number 18. He was a dynamic player, won an MVP a couple of times. He was um, playing um, NBA championships with the Celtics, 74, 76. He was a great defender. He was a player coach for the Boston Celtics in 1978, 79. He finished his career with the Bucks in 1983. And eventually he coached the Hornets and the Warriors. He's still active in Boston. One time he was director of the Sports Museum in, of New England in he runs basketball camps during summer. And that's about it on that. That's about it on this video blog. Be back later, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with two more video blogs. One will be about ESPN's NHL coverage, what they did, how they covered it in during the 80s and 90s and 2000s. And the last video blog of the day will be about my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile will be about NHL um, reporter and studio host for, Com for Rogers Sportsnet in Canada, Chris Simpson. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Wolf's blood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatzo, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swenzie's awesome. And Barbara Gibbs of ABC 11 has that sweet as an accent. Linda Church of, of WPIX, morning meteorologist Rocks. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out. See you later. Bye now.